person, but obviously being a fan of Pops and then, you know, kind of seeing uh, just everything you've been through, uh, the journey, the, 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 the Pops is an icon, but also at the same time being able to build your own man and your own story. What has that journey been like for you? Well, it, it hasn't really been hard because I just listen to what Pops say. So when you really go against, you know, like his word and not understand what he's saying at the time, then it'll, you'll take a hard route and it needs to be. And a lot of people that's, you know, have successful parents and parents that did something, they like going and straying away from, you know, what they're saying. Yeah. Y'all came back home with earrings? Yeah, earrings. I did get earrings. How old? I don't know. I was probably like 12. I just want to get some big rocks in my no. head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He yeah, had more than one sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I don't want him sometimes. You got to understand, Shador has played, started every game in high school. Started every game of one in college. That's a lot of football. So he's seen every coverage, every blitz, everything you could possibly see. So sometimes, to me, it's like PlayStation for him. And he's back there like, hey, Okay, I, I, I get him on the field today. Let me get him going and practice today. And sometimes I just, man, just make you re get the ball out, man. Come on, make you re get the ball out. Let's move the chains. Let's go. And he's looking at it differently like, okay, Dad, I got to get this receiver going. We got we to gotta develop a, a rhythm. And so I'm trying to get him going. And you didn't see what happened. Go watch film. Then you're going to see that this guy was doing this. But it was like that. And oftentimes he's right. Because he's seeing it from a whole different perspective. I remember one time in Jackson, man, I got on his butt. I said, man, hit the darn check down. Get the ball out. And he said, hey, this guy on the scout team is not going to do that. He's going to go there. He's going to go there. So my read's going to be right there. I said, all right, we'll do that thing. <laughs> so he, he's the student of the game. He's, he's seen it. He's seen it. But keeping him energized and, and understanding the next level of this process is, is prevalent for him. Right. Really is, of course, the best me, yeah. but I take things that I like out of people's games and try to add it. Try to add it. So what's some of the quarterbacks you watch on like? Like Tom Brady, a cool. uh, couple things, Brett Favre. I like, I personally like some things that Josh Allen does. Mm -hmm. I just met him uh, in, during the Super Bowl. Got mad during the Super Bowl. Um, I like a little bit of Mike Vick. I do love the sports, baseball. Like, finally he came to me in high school. What did you do, a junior? Yeah, I was yeah. leaning on the gate. He's like, Dad, look at this got to stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm running I, I ain't there. passionate no more about it. About baseball? Yeah, yeah. 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 Bad <laughs> average went down. No, he hit three something, <laughs> you know, in high school. Yeah. Yeah, Shiloh was pitching one time, and they just hitting this ball hard, and I'm like, he yelling at me because I'm leaning on the fence. I don't even play out there. <laughs> but I, I, I was out there. Shiloh was pitching, pitching. This is a good team we was playing against. Rock the it's oh, the oh, 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 oh. I, said, <laughs> I said, so me and him told he yelled from the dugout. I said, they hit it over here anyway. <laughs> so then after that, he was like, dog, you can't disrespect this game. Yeah. And after that, I'm like, this ain't me. No, no, and he should have done basketball. That was one of the games I didn't make. I probably have made during every game he's ever played in his life. And he played his one basketball and his one rec so And he came back home like early. I'm like, dog, what happened to the game? He said, dog, can't do it no more, Pop. It's a wrap. <laughs> nah, what it was was that's when we had the show and all that stuff going on. I, we, we, we went, we was at a private school, so, you know, I was I was playing freshman killing them. <laughs> Do that big. Do that big. Hey, I was a good bucket. Freshman year. Sophomore year, played a little JV. Then we went to like a tournament, you know, like a um, like a Dallas tournament. You know, like it had it had a competition out there. Yeah, school was out there. I'm like, okay, I'm on JV, you shouldn't be that bad. Man, I went out there, they was like, Yeah, Shallow. I said, like, Yeah, I'm shallow. <laughs> After that that was it. Court felt smaller and all that, so I was like, nah. Yeah, he's like, Dad, I'm going to start quarterback one part. I can't be on JV. I got offers and stuff in uh, you know, football, and I'm out here on JV. Who the best in the family? Me, now.
Say, last time I played dog, um, he blocked my shot and yeah. pushed me. It was over. It was over, bro. I two summers <laughs> during COVID. I walked, yeah, during COVID. We was we was deep. We was going at it on the court. They had teams, so I'm out there watching. And then won't you come on? And I pride myself on being nice with it. That joker blocked my back to down on the block, and back, you know, hit my move in and go for it. He slapped my ball to push me, dog. I just walked on the night house, man. That was it. That was it. I ain't played since. I don't mind the block to push me. I don't know, he pushed me, man. That's what was disrespectful. I say, I don't mind the block. What you said when you pushed me, too, man? I don't know. You know. He ain't cut it, he know how to swim on the real shit. But he said something that was derogatory, man. I felt disrespected. I felt disrespected, man. I ain't played since. Oh, man. <laughs> to push. That'll shut it down. Yeah.